Hi, in this lesson, we will be looking at the trapezium rule for integration. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer exam questions like the one behind me. So stay tuned. Okay, so question number three. Uh, given that i is equal to the integration of sec x uh, with respect to x from uh, 0 to pi by 3, uh, find the exact value of i. Uh, part b, use the trapezium rule with two strips to find an estimation for i and also use a trapezium rule with four strips this time to find another estimation for i and then work out the percentage error in each of those uh, estimations. Okay, let's do part a. So the integration of sec x from 0 to pi by 3 dx will... Now to integrate sec x, you can look this up from the formula booklet. Uh, so sec integrates into the ln of sec x plus tan x and we're going from 0 to pi by 3. We have the ln of sec is 1 over cos of pi by 3 plus tan pi by 3 minus the ln of 1 over cos of 0 plus tan of 0. Well, Tan of zero is zero, cos of zero is one, so one over one, all that is just one. But ln of one is equal to zero, that goes away. Uh, so we're, all we're left with is this, so one over cos of pi by three, or in other words, sec of uh, pi by three is two, plus tan of pi by three is root three. So this is, this is our actual answer, or the exact answer to this uh, to the integration. Now for part B, we're asked to estimate using two strips. Well, if you have two, two strips, uh, we can work out the height of each strip. So the height would be, uh, would be equal to pi by three minus zero, and then divide all this by two, and uh, that gives you pi by, pi by six. So we can go straight into working out the area for I, is approximately equal to a half times h, which is pi by 6, times by the y values. So to work out the y values, we need a table of values. So let's just do a little table here. Uh, so the first x value is 0 uh, plus pi by 6. And this will give you the second x value plus another pi by 6 will give you pi by 3. And we, we, here we stop here because we get to the top limit there. So substituting the values in when x equals 0, uh, sec of 0 is 1, so the first y value is 1. When x equals pi by 6, uh, sec of pi by 6 is equal to 1.155, uh, rounded to 3 decimal point. And when x equals pi by 3, sec of pi by 3 is equal to 2. So our y values here are the first y value is 1 plus 2 times the, the middle one, but there's only one middle value here, so 1.1. 5, 5, close the bracket, and plus the last y value. Um, and plug it all in your calculator, and this is equal to 1.39, rounded to two decimal, two decimal point. Right, so let's have a look at part C. So in part C, we are to use four strips uh, to do another estimation for our uh, integration. So we have to work out what the new h value is now. So it will be pi by 3, take away 0. But this time we're dividing it by, by 4. Uh, this gives us pi by, pi by 12. So if I set this up, so our i is approximately equal to a half of h, which is pi by 12, times all the y values um, added together. So we need to work out the y values to set up a table of values again. So we have x and the corresponding y values. Uh, the first x value is zero. The second x value, well, we're adding on h each, each time. This time, we're adding on pi by pi by 12. So we will have pi by 12 there. Add another pi by 12, that gives you pi by six. Add another pi by 12, that gives you pi by four. And add pi by 12 again, that gives you pi by three, and we stop here because we now reach the, the top value here. Uh, work out the corresponding y values by substituting each x into your sec x. Uh, so we get a one for the first one, 
uh, 1.035, um, we get 1.155, uh, 1.414, and we get 2. So going back to our trapezium formula, so it's the first y value is 1 plus 2 lots of the middle one. Now we have three y values in the middle, so we have a 1.035, close the bracket, press the equal sign, and that's equal to 1.34 to two decimal places. Now the final bit is to work out the percentage error for each of those estimations. Um, and if you look at the previous example, percentage error is basically equal to the difference between the actual minus the estimation over the actual. And then if you have to do it, multiply this by 100, so using this formula, we can simply work out the percentage error of each of those estimations. So for the estimation, when we have n number of strips, when we have two strips, the actual value is this. The actual value is ln of 2 plus root 3, minus the estimated for two strips, uh, we go 1.39, and, and then divide by the actual again, which is ln of 2 plus root 3, and then multiply the answer by 100, and it should get 5.6%. Uh, when we have four strips and you work out the percentage error again, actual is, is ln of 2 plus root 3 again. The estimated value for four strips is 1.34. So divide by the actual value again times by 100 and we get 1.5% as the percentage error. Now by looking at these values, it kind of shows us that the more strips we have, the smaller the percentage error. So with two strips, our error is 5.6%. With four strips, we have 1.5% error. So the more strips we have, the less the percentage error in our estimation. Final question, use the trapezium rule with all the y values in the table to find an approximation for the area of the region R here, which is bounded by the curve and the x-axis and the line x equals zero and x equals to two. The table of values is given uh, to us. All we have to do is plug this into the formula for the trapezium rule. So the area is approximately equal to a half times the h. Now h again is equal to two minus zero divided by number of strips. But as you can see here in the question, we're not given the number of strips, but to work out the height of each strip, all we have to do is find the difference between the first two values of x, so which is 0 0.5. So here, our h is 0 0.5 uh, times by the first y value is 2 plus 2 lots of the middle y value. So that's 4.077 plus 7.389 plus 10.043, close bracket, and plus on the last y value and close the final bracket. And plug all in your calculator, and the answer is 11.25 to two decimal places. Okay, part B, explain how the trapezium rule can be used to give a more accurate approximation for the area. Now there are various answers you can give, but the most obvious one is obviously to increase the number of strips. Part C, uh, use calculus showing all your steps in the working to obtain the exact value for the area of region R and make sure you simplify your answer. Now the exact area is given by the integration of two minus x times e to the 2x with respect to x from x equals to zero all the way to all the way to two. Now, if you look at this uh, function here, this is a product of two functions. Obviously, it will imply that we have to now perform integration by parts. So this is gonna be u and e to the 2x is gonna be our v dash. The integration formula or integration by parts formula is u v minus the integration of u dash v. So we can write down that u is equal to two minus x. So u dash is equal to minus one. Uh, v dash is equal to e to the two x. Well, what differentiates into e to the two x is e to the two x. But if we differentiate e to the two x, we get two at the front. So we don't have a two there. So adjustment is a half. And I substitute that into the formula u times v, so we have a half e to the 2x multiplied by two minus x, so minus integration of u dash times v, so u dash is minus one uh, times v, half e to the 2x, minus one times a half, 
which is minus a half, we're going to pull out, turn this into plus a half, and we have e to the 2x remaining, and with respect to x. And if you integrate e to the 2x, uh, we get a half e to the 2x. So just to simplify this, so we get, we have a half e to the 2x bracket to minus x, a half times a half, we have a quarter e to the 2x, and we can now box this up and the limits are from 0 to 2. So we substitute the 2 in, so we have a half e to the 4, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0, plus a quarter e to the 4, so that's 2 going in. All right, so now substitute 0 in, so minus, as uh, 0 goes in, so we have a half, e to the power of 0 is 1, uh, times by 2 minus 0 is 2, so it's half times by 2, plus uh, 0 goes in, so just plus a quarter, uh, so here we have, that's 0 gone, and we have a quarter e to the power of 4, uh, minus, you go 1 plus a quarter, which is 5 quarters, so that's 5 over 4. Uh, we can also write this as, take out the quarter, uh, we have e to the power 4 minus 5. It's also a valid way of, of writing this answer. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to press the bell notification uh, to subscribe.